Hello everybody, Sebastian here from Everyday Biking and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are doing the highly suggested upgrade on the Growler, the dropper seat post. So this is the old seat post just in here. I've already ran the cable through, the internal cable. This is just here so I don't lose it because it takes forever to run. And yeah, so I did that so we wouldn't have to do that on video. Old thing's already off. I'm keeping the WTB saddle because it's a nice saddle. It's comfortable, wide, well supportive, that just fell. And yeah, I went with the Exfusion Manic Dropper Post, 125 millimeter of travel on the post. So for my height, it's a perfect amount of travel going up and down. I'll probably have this slammed anyways, so it'll be as low as it is anyways for my riding height. And yeah, let's get this video started. So here's the dropper seat post. It's an X-Fusion Manic. The reason why I went with this dropper post is A, the reviews on it is super good. And a friend of mine from County Cycle actually said to me, hey, I got this dropper post. It was just freshly rebuilt, it came off of a growler. I no longer need it, you want it? I'm like, okay, sure. So I got a good price on it. It's just freshly rebuilt, so it works like it's new. And I didn't pay the new price. So the main thing of Project Bike, getting parts on the budget. Also what I like is this dropper lever. A lot of them come over top here and they come down like this, but this is a nice side one, just like a shifter. So it's gonna be super comfortable, great grip, and I'll always know where the dropper seat post is. So to start off, we ran the cable through already. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some grommets for this because I don't have any. But yeah, we're just gonna cut this up to size because, sorry about the cars in the background, doing this near park again. Um, so yeah, we're gonna cut this a little, cause it's a little big, so let's cut it. All right, so we've cut the cable down to size. It's gonna be tight, but that's because I'll have another three to four inches as soon as I push this back down through after the seat post is in. So yeah, now I'm not gonna have over excess amounts of cable here. Now we gotta remove the grip and debating on the brake or not to put the lever. I might just leave the brake on actually and put it right in before might be worth actually I don't think I have to do that I don't have to remove any of these because the switch actually clamps on all right so we got the lever on comfortable position cables all the way through now we got to put this little thing sec, that was a pain in the butt to find this little barrel nut on the cable which then clips into the dropper post for our dropper post just like I was saying the little barrel just goes in this little spot here cable comes through and then the outer cable sits in there so it gets tension. So we got the little barrel nut here, which then clips into here, and I need two hands for this, so we're gonna put the camera down. So as you can see here, when I hit this, it moves this, which activates the dropper. It's a little loose because it's all bent up, but yes, get the, get the gist. All right, so the dropper post is in, set up to my height, comes up nicely, I like it. So we'll be testing this out on the trails pretty soon. Yeah. All right, guys, that was a quick video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, dropper post works great. We'll be testing it out pretty soon in the latest video. I'll probably go riding with Alex sometime soon. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a quick one because doing this is pretty quick. It's just a cable and a switch. So, yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below what you think the next upgrade on this bike should be. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.